That's what's goody. So in light of all this, Premier Ponds is the 2023 Digital Influencer of the Year. What do you think about Dude, that? Dude, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I got my buddy right here. Let's go. I, I really appreciate that, man. I got chills. I don't know if you can see uh, that. But... That's awesome, dude. Are you attending any regional builds this year? No, I'd love to. Me and uh, Kevin, Big Country, he's hardcore about the water features and the artistry. But looking into maybe just going out of pocket for the Pittsburgh one. Totally come out to the Pittsburgh one. I'll be out there at, at Tanner Surfa's and then um, we're actually gonna have the Pondemon a Pondemonium watch party out there. Yes. Talk to your boss, man. Tell him. I got him. you, I got you. Be like, hey man, I gotta go out to this build. <laughs> we I have to. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome, man. What do you, you want to talk about Tanner's property for the YouTube video? I'd love to. Bang the camera up. Shout out Tanner Surfer. We're in beautiful Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's got a beautiful property in the, here in the woods. We're building him a beautiful rec pond. Ed Ballou, king of water features. Uh, he's right over there. He's drinking a brewski. He's one of the boys. And uh, we're, building, we're building a pond with him. He's spearheading it. 25 years in the industry. He knows what's goody. We trust Ed. Ed has a bit more construction experience than we do. Take a look at the rock behind you. We've never set a boulder like that in one of our ponds. Um, but yeah, we're here to learn. We're here to be what's goody. And we're uh, here to be premier as always. The coach, anything you want to add to that on this regional build, your first oh, we of many? Or... No, for the YouTube yeah. video. Uh, I mean, the fun really starts tomorrow, so just here to... Well, the fun seems to have started right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fun's been all day. Maybe we ought to get out of town more often. We'll see. Hopefully everybody's on their best behavior. Just met Ed, first impressions. Oh, man. Probably spend easily hours talking to Ed. Excited to work side by side with him and a few of these other guys. Tim Wood, excited to work with him. But it looks great so far. But yeah, tomorrow, yes, it's good. 8 a.m. Let's do it. Over to Wells. What's good, Premier Family? So excited to be here today. I'm a bit taken away by these massive boulders in here, actually. Extremely jealous. And a whole lot of FOMO. Could only dream of such beautiful projects. But here at Premier, we will bring our own Premier energy to this build. What I'm most excited for is the, the, the wetlands. I love the wetlands. Yeah, sometimes I am. So, you know, when you start talking, are you getting that because of water chemistry? And From the regional build, what's good? Eh? I thought I was a hard worker until I saw Ed. I don't know how old he is, but he did a great job working for the rain. Which is it? Tanner has a beautiful ecosystem pond done by Friday. I wouldn't mind an, an extended trip, but yeah. Wittstock's schedule is a little more demanding than ours. And that. What's good, Eat Premier family? I'm in amongst all of the chaos. We've got Big Country working on another patio, this time for Aquascape. The wonderful gentleman over here starting the big waterfall. Got two machines going everywhere. It's freaking crazy, but that's what's good. Eat.
It's Prime here. Virtual pandemonium day for most of you, but we're here uh, in person with Ed himself. 2023 Conservationist of the Year, Tim Wood, is on the sticks right now. We're setting the last few boulders of of the build, um, just creating a bit of a retaining wall. As you can see, we're still filling the pond too. This is the uh, the enormous bog filter that uh, Ed set up. Meanders down through this piece of driftwood here with a rock in it. That's pretty what's goody. A few cascades, another beautiful cascade, and then down into the pond. Lots of beautiful big rocks, lots of beautiful moss, lots of driftwood incorporated into the pond. Ed taught me that the more natural surfaces you have in the pond, the more it mimics real, uh, real natural settings. This has been a very eye-opening experience. We got to really see how the best in the, the guys who created the industry, we get to see how they build ponds. Both of our companies build ponds, but they just build them in a very different way than we do. So many, uh, so many great CACs came out and kind of gave their own little touch on the build. The country was here at 8 a.m. today while Wells, myself, and Mark were, uh, being little late monkeys and sleeping in. I personally set this boulder right here with Ed himself. That big one over there that uh, Bill Seeds is standing on, I also placed with Ed. So I personally had a great experience learning how to set some big uh, some big boulders and how to manipulate them into the right place. Shout out Aquascape for throwing this beautiful event. Shout out Ed Ballou. Shout out Muscles for winning Digital Influencer of the Year award. That's what's goody. Hope to be at another regional build event soon. Stay premier. <laughs> oh, we got whoa! Let it go, let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Just said that. So like, how, how's it looking? How's the water pump? It's looking good. We need to chip a little bit of it, I think, because there's not enough water flow getting off that side. But. I think it looks good. I would tip the lift on both sides of there. <laughs> Hell yeah. everybody it's big country i'm super tired i'm soaked my feet are soggy but i learned a whole lot glad i got to come out here glad i got to be a part of this build for tanner it's a pretty cool house but now it's freaking incredible glad i got to be part of a couple integral pieces into this project try to watch and observe what i could soak everything in other than the negative ions which uh, that's a given i'd love to come back to another one so hopefully that'll be in the cards for now i'm just gonna sit here and appreciate the work and let my feet dry out, and that's what's goody. Ready? I'm here with the legendary Ed Ballou. We just finished up uh, Tanner Serpa's new ecosystem rack pond. Ed, you're the, the man who introduced the term idea negative ions to us. We've become almost obsessed with it. Taking all the negative ions. Soaked in the negative ions. Bathing in these negative ions. Negative ions are just washing all over me. Can you just kind of re-outline for our fans what that's all about? Absolutely, yeah, I'd love to. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming out. It's been a blast working with you, first of all. You know, always enjoy watching your content, following your energy and everything. It's been a blast. So, I'll, so keep up the phenomenal work. It's an honor for me to be talking to about this because it's definitely something that I'm very passionate about. I believe if you back in, go back into humanity, look at every major 
city throughout the world. It is founded along a lake, river, stream, or a coastline. So I believe there's something inside of us that's hardwired in our DNA to be by water, and it's because it's a source of food, it's a source of relaxation, it's a source of transportation. We seek it out, but do we seek out the water, or is it the negative ions? Is it the energy that is given off? And if we look at the biology of us, our bodies are 70, 75% water. The same compounds that are in our blood, the same micronutrients and all those different compounds and elements are the exact same elements and compounds that are found in the ocean. So when we get by the ocean, there's a biochemical reaction that happens between us. It's really hard to kind of put your finger on it, but when you talk to somebody that is in that Zen moment, and you say, what do you like about being by the water? And they, they almost can't even answer you, but they're like, there's just a feeling. I think that feeling is that hardwired DNA, but it's coming from our biology and just how we've adapted over many, many millennia to live on this incredible planet. And our planet is dominated by water. It is just kind of amazing to see it and I see it day after day the number one place that people go to go on vacation and spend their holidays and spend time with family is usually aquatic based boating fishing swimming snorkeling surfing sitting on a beach you name it all that really cool stuff so I think we crave it and what I love about what we do is we can bring it anywhere in the world if we have rock if we have gravel if we have the raw materials that we need we could recreate an aquatic environment in any place on the planet and we can completely transform a property and we'll bring it to life because as soon as you put in a little body of water everything is going to come to you <laughs> thank you so much awesome. just one more question yep. maybe a newer CAC might not have access to three machines like this right. or a quarry with stones this yeah. large what are some small tips you would give to uh, maybe just a smaller scale production to make their artistry and their ecosystems more of a natural ecosystem so so what I would say you know what what I love about what we do I've talked about the concept of fractals before expanding geometries so you see these patterns in nature you could blow something out and make it massive or you could do it small I could take these same exact rocks and shrink them down to a fraction of their size and we could still utilize them. You're basically just taking it and you're just shrinking it. The concepts actually are exactly the same. For a new CAC or a new contractor or even a DIY person who's trying to get their hands dirty and wet with doing something like this, it's just kind of get comfortable playing around with stuff. Ideally, you would start with like a, uh, like a fountain basin or something like that, just so you understand the pumping and how water flows over things. The other thing that I would say is go out into nature, and I've seen you guys doing that before. Go out into nature, go hike up and down some rivers and creeks, go to your favorite, you know, coastline, whatever it happens to be, and try to imagine little pieces of it. The challenge is it becomes overwhelming. When you're standing on a coastline, you know, miles of shoreline going in all directions, it's like, well, how, how do I do this? Like, you're focusing too big. Look at this one section. One little section. What's there? Okay, there's, a, there's three rocks, a wooden stump, and there's a little trickle of water. That's all you got to do. But keep it really, really, really simple. And then once you get a little bit more comfortable, then you start adding in some more complexity and start playing around with stuff. Do it in your backyard before you do it for a customer always. If you don't like it, you can take it apart and redo it. You could learn along the way and you could, you could learn a lot really, really fast. Uh, thanks so much, Ed. Shout out to the whole Aquascape team. It truly is an honor to watch you do something this incredible in just two and a half days. I guess last thing is, can you say that's what's goody for our fans? Absolutely. <laughs> that's what's goody. Storytelling is great, posts are great, you're getting a lot of engagement, killing it man, you're crushing it. So for that, you know, you guys are the 2023, you know, Digital Influencers of the Year. It, it really means so much. I'm gonna chill the second time.